Now the ice accumulation snarling traffic at Detroit Metro Airport. According to Flight Aware, more than 240 flights have been canceled today. More than 150 others delayed. 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy is at the airport talking with weary passengers and has more on the efforts to try and de-ice those planes and runways. Well, that precipitation just continues to come down out here. The good news is that many people have been able to get out today, though that uncertainty does remain. Fortunately, the people at DTW tell me that they are able to mitigate some of the worst effects by de-icing techniques and chemicals. Patricia Johnson and her husband are taking their first trip since the pandemic. We've been following the weather and everything, you know, because we know how, you know, the, the runways can get iced over or the plane can get iced over. Steve McClard and his family know flying on such an unpredictable day is risky, but they'd like to get back to Portland. We're just hoping that freezing rain doesn't come and start hitting because I'm sure things will start getting canceled if, if it does. Ronald Basman was the director of airfield operations at Detroit Metro Airport. Now he's helping coordinate between the airport authority, the FAA and the airlines to maximize safety and efficiency at DTW. He explained to me that they are closely monitoring the weather and surface temperatures. We provide preventive measures to maintain the level of safety that we need to, not only for de-icing the planes, but for the surfaces that they use. This of course means de-icing planes and runways but I was surprised to learn they don't use salt because that would be corrosive. Instead, the chemicals themselves um, are a form of glycol. Basman, explain to me why it's so important. Anytime that you have a contaminant on the wings, and that could be snow or it could be even as minute as frost, that alters the design of the wing and how effectively it can produce lift. He admits it was fortunate we had rain early in the day. When we get into the heavier precipitation this afternoon, that's where we have to be on our best game or we have to start limiting what is happening at the airport. That would include delaying or canceling flights. Fortunately, passengers like the McLeod family are taking it in stride. Uh, we got a couple of pillows in the carry-ons and uh, maybe we'll get smart and try and find a hotel reservation before things start canceling. At DTW, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News. That's the way to handle it. All right, thank you so much, Mike.